Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemtical and welcome to episode 14 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. Last episode we got pretty close to Mika. In episode 14 it says prom is just around the corner but will Karen's camera spoil everything? Dun, dun, dun. Who knows, let's get into it. Greenard, so that night when I got back from the play I'd completely forgotten about lying to my mum earlier. Oh yeah, we were supposed to be going to study group. Well, hello there. Hi. How was study group? It was great, but long. Such a liar. It would have it would have gone on longer, but the library was closing, so they kicked us out. Interesting. Because knowing how hard you and your friends have been studying, I thought I'd surprise you with a treat. Uh oh. What? I ordered a pizza and had it sent to the library, but the delivery guy called to tell me there was no one there. Totally empty. Lights off. So why don't you tell me where you really were? Uh oh. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, right. Tell the truth or lie again. I think, like, she should just tell the truth. Let's, te let's tell the truth. I was at a play. For your Shakespeare class? No, it was my friend's play, and I wasn't just at it. I was in it. You were what? After all the times we talked about this? Mo, I'm sorry, but I wanted to tell you, but... So you've been sneaking behind my back this whole time. I'm sorry, I knew you didn't approve, but this play, it was something I really, really, really wanted to do. Then why didn't you just say that when you first brought it up with me? Well, honestly, do you think that she would have allowed us to do it. Even if we'd have said we really, really want to do it, she would have been like, no, 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 no. I don't believe she would have allowed her to. You said you were glad I was done prancing around on stage, so I already knew you thought it was a waste of time. I want to make you proud, but it wasn't some prestigious club. It was just some play my friend wrote. You know, not everything has you do has to be about grades and college. Well, this is a change, because normally she's all about grades and college but that's the only stuff you ever encourage me to do because it's always been Yale 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 with you and I want you to achieve your goals and if that's your dream I want to do everything I can to help you achieve it it is I do anything for Yale more than I can tell her <laughs> but I also want you to be happy performing again it made me really happy mum I'm glad, baby, and I'm sorry if I made you feel like you couldn't talk to me about it. Oh, that's the last thing I want, okay? Okay. So how about you tell me about this friend? Oh, they, they seem to be they're made up now. That's all right. Short-lived kind of anger or whatever. The one who wrote the play. <laughs> the one I just betrayed. Uh, he's just a friend. I kind of like him. I kind of like him. Does he have a name? Mika, he's really smart and driven and caring and cute, I bet. And cute. Okay, well, get some sleep. Even in G News. In G News? <laughs> I don't know. Have to wake up early for school. Wonder what's going to happen with this whole text thing with Mika. I'm quite worried from last episode. Hey, Mum. I love you. Ah, love you too, babes. Good night. Aww, see, she was an alright mum in the end. One week later, Mika is going to find out about this whole text, isn't he? Let's see. Oh, this is Karen. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's springtime and hormones are all the rage. Great timing because prom is right around the corner. I'm here with two times spring fling queen Regina George, who lost her run at the three-peat to Katie Heron. Uh-oh. Prom is her last chance for the Triple Crown. Prom? Who cares? I'm so over it. But we're still going, right? Only because my mum promised to get us a limo full of wine coolers. Sweet. As student body president, Regina got to choose this year's theme. Somewhere over the rainbow. That's a nice theme, isn't it? Is that what it is? I let Damien pick everything oh, that figures. You can imagine Damien picking somewhere over the rainbow. Oh, I have to go sign off on his decoration budget. He wants $500 for a midnight glitter drop. 
Oh, janitor. Dear God, please no. Oh no, poor janitor, he'd have to clean it up. <laughs> uh, little known fact, PROM actually stands for Premature Rupture of Membranes. Super ooh, but it's true, I looked it up. Oh dear, Karen, oh dear. After my megawatt kiss with Mika, I should have been flying high, but all week long I was a paranoid wreck, terrified Mika would find out what I'd done. Greenoid? Oh, here he is. Hey, I need to ask you something. He knows about the text. Sure, what's up? I heard a rumour and I wanted to ask you if it's true. To your face. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm getting worried. I blew it, he hates me. So I heard that you don't have a date to prom. True or false? Um, true. True. I spent all this time romancing my GPA and turns out you can't take your GPA to prom. Who knew? Oh man, you really put your eggs in the wrong basket. I know, what a waste. Aww, cute together. Okay, then what do you say we cave to society's expectations, get all dressed up and partake in this capitalism-imposed BS tradition? Like, as a date or as friends? Like, as a date. Unless that means we'd have to stop being friends too. Because that would bum me out. He's just asked us to prom. So, show some enthusiasm, play it cool. Uh, I'm going to have to say, let's be enthusiastic. 110% yes. Darn. What? I was really hoping for 112. I guess 110 will have to do. Well, that's awesome. Great. Woo! <laughs> did you just woo? <laughs> sure did. So what's the plan? The plan? Right. Uh, let me make one of those and I will get right back to you with it. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> See? I'm off to a great start. That couldn't have been more wonderfully opposite than what I thought he was going to say. Oh crap, now I have to get a dress. Hey, have you seen Damien? I have, he's sitting with Karen Smith. Hmm, what are they doing? What are they chatting about? It's like the world is coming to an end. I'd go over there, but I wore a ponytail twice this week. Huh? Nothing. What do you need? I was going to ask for his help finding a prom dress, but I don't want to risk a Regina running. She's still stewing about the play. Today, in Shakespeare, she gave me a look that could have drawn blood. I'll take my chances at them all. <laughs> then I'm stealing your motive as an icebreaker. Fashion advice is like Damien's personal vice. Ooh. Hey Damien, is this seat taken? That's where Regina sits. Great, then I'll only fart on it twice. Oh dear. Hey, so I need help picking out a prom dress. You're wearing a dress? Okay, maybe like a really sleek jumpsuit. What do you think? I don't do freebies and my services are already spoken for. Damien will be starring Karen Smith in a two-part prom special for Karen Uncensored. My work will be seen by 121,206. 207 subscribers. Karen's channel is blowing up. But not in a dangerous way. <laughs> we had to explain that to her. Uh, um, oh, I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm sure Kevin can help you find something chic at Goth Stop. Ta-da! Aww. Poor thing. Damien's mean. He's turning into a mean girl. What in the... Surprise! Mum? Sorry, it never gets old for me. What is all this? You may notice an envelope on the counter. And I may notice that it has already been opened. I would go mad if somebody did that to me. I couldn't help myself. You got into Yale! What? <laughs> She's doing a little dance. I should feel so happy. Baby, why aren't you freaking out? You got in. Muster excitement or be bummed. Let's muster excitement. I, I, I can't believe it. This is your dream come true. It is. It's everything I've ever wanted. Except for the crushing guilt part. Smile. Mum. 
what? I want to have this moment forever. I thought I would too. I gotta tell Katie. I guess this means you can send in your withdrawal from University of Evanston. I will. You know, backing out means we lose the deposit and I couldn't be happier about it. So proud of you, baby. Aw, she did kind of get in by being a bit of a douche to Mika though. I have to confess to someone what I did. Keeping it to myself is eating me alive. Oh no, oh no. Oh, she's gonna tell Katie. Okay, I believe someone has news for me. Uh, yep. So it looks like I'm about to officially withdraw my commitment to University of Evanston. You're doing what? Why? Because I got into Yale. Green Eyed, congrats. I knew you could do it. And that's not even the news I was expecting. This is like a day of major wins for you. What do you mean? You know I tried to turn a deaf ear to the rumour mill, but today it was too loud to drown out. Did Mika ask you to prom? How good news does travel fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. I've always told you he had a thing for you, didn't I? Yeah, I'm excited, but um, this isn't a conversation for the phone. Do you want to go to the mall? I guess I need to find a prom dress. <laughs> Definitely. Just know you'll be asking for fashion advice from a girl who lived in safari f fatigues up until last year. You've assimil assimilated nicely. One does endeavour. I'll pick you up in ten. Okay, we're at the mall. Hurry up, I want to see the dress. Give me a minute. I have a stuck zipper situation going on here. Be careful, remember, inhale and then pull gently. By the way, is Aaron coming to prom? He promised he would, but... But what? But it must feel silly to him, coming home from college to go to a high school dance. No way, he's coming to see you. Okay, wow, trying on these dresses is actually really fun. I know, right? Okay, right, which look would be perfect for prom? <sighs> okay, let's have a little look. Mm, not quite right, let's, we need to look at them all. No, I don't like that old fashioned pink. Clearance, oh, I quite like that one. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I don't want that. Oh, these are good. Oh, okay, these are all thingy ones, diamond ones. I haven't got enough diamonds for any of them, but let's just take a little look at them anyway. <laughs> we really want that one. What about, should we go with this? I feel like that's a, mm, let me just watch that clearance one. I quite like that clearance one, to be honest. I'm gonna go with that, perfect. Katie, I found the perfect dress. Let me see, let me see. I like that. What do you think? Wow, green eyed, you look amazing. Mika is a lucky guy. I think I'm the lucky one. Ooh, Katie and green eyed trying on dresses. She's taking a photo. Wow, when I zoom in, I can see all of Katie's paws. You've got into Yale, you're going to prom with the guy you've been crushing on all year. Next stop, Nirvana. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Come on, you should be screaming like you won concert tickets on the radio. Oh no, she's crying. Regina's gonna overhear. Oh no, not Regina, Karen, sorry. Or not. I'm sorry, I just feel so guilty. About what? She's gonna pour her heart out. I used Mika's phone and texted his dad. Oh no, Karen. I asked him to recommend my friend Greenoid to Yale. Whoa, that's a Regina George move. I know, and it worked, and I got in, and now I feel like dirt about it. Well, you should. I always felt like Yale was essential to my identity, but I got Yale and now I don't recognise myself. I do, you're my friend and you made a mistake. Albeit a really, really big one. I know, I really dug myself into a hole here. Yeah, you did. Just don't let it become a grave. You have to tell him. I can't, if Mika ever found out, he'd never forgive me. Fortunately, you grew a conscience. And not to sound anti-feminist, but maybe it's time you grow a pair. You're right, I have to figure out a way to do it. But if Regina finds out, I'm in trouble. No, Karen, don't do it, Karen. Ooh, look, 50% off. Maybe she might get sidetracked by that. 
oh end of the episode if she posts that on her channel is just gonna be a nightmare for us i hope she doesn't oh, we'll have to wait and see for next episode but there you go guys there is episode 14 i hope you enjoyed it go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you guys soon bye